This is Kew Palace, Britain's smallest royal residence. When the public come here, there's one part that they never get to see, the attics. And I'm going to take you up there now and show you something quite unusual. These are witching marks that were probably put on the building when it was first constructed to ward off evil. They come in a variety of shapes, uh, sometimes they can be circles, and very often they're found to be uh, interlocking uh, V's or uh, the symbol M, which might stand for the Blessed Virgin Mary. We think they were probably made by the carpenters because they've been created with a gouge and must have been done when the oak was fairly new and soft. We find them quite a lot in farmhouses and lower status buildings, but here at Kew we've got a much more middle class building, so it's unusual to find them at this level. In the 17th century, there was a greater belief in uh, evil spirits and witches than we have today. And people often carved these marks into uh, places where the building was perceived to be quite uh, vulnerable in order to ward off evil or to keep witches at bay. It's not often people are allowed in the attics at Kew because the attic is such a special and precious place, but on the occasions when we can bring people up, they also get the feeling, I think, that they're stepping into another world. 